iFolks uh, project cars to again. <clears throat> Yesterday I picked at invitational events, uh, as I haven't done even a single one till yesterday. And I decided to continue the trend today. So I started with, started with road cars, uh, I've done the Ferrari road car showcase and the F40 celebration. And today I'll try to finish the other three, uh, starting with the red line trophy, <clears throat> Knock Hill International reverse. I'm not really sure if I, if I know the truck. I mean, I know the truck, but I haven't done a lot of driving on it. So I'll be interesting. Uh, let's see what cars I can choose from. Uh, A45, which is a seven speed sequential transmission. Not sure if those are paddles or sequential on the stick. And M1 Coupe from BMW. There is M. Um, I think I will go with this one just because it's the H pattern, so it'll be more interesting. Uh, settings, the career settings. Um, I was doing the F40 yesterday. I had it at IT5 just because, again, there is no practice, there's no qualification. So starting starting midfield, having 10 laps, not necessarily the easiest uh, to get quickly to the front. Um, I think I'll raise it to 90. Um, I won't be going higher than that because you know I don't know what to expect and driving on stickies it's always a bit slower than driving on, on puddles. Uh, it will be uh, right foot braking heel and toe so I'm not that proficient with it. It's just eight laps so it's even less. Uh, okay let's see how it goes. That was enough of introduction. Uh, I'm here to to drive not to talk. Um, a little bit of both. Yeah, I I kind of know the truck. Um, I think last time I did any driving on it was in Formula Rookie. So it was what tier six, I think, of the open wheel career. I'm in tier three now, or I'll be starting tier three. Is it raining? It is. Okay, so a quick look at the setup. I go to the stable for the rain. Uh, I like to choose my tires so, but I don't see any wet. Interesting. Um, okay, I'll I'll keep them automatic uh, by weather. I'm actually curious what's going to be chosen for me. Uh, won't be changing anything else in terms of tires. Uh, brake pressure, yeah, let's keep it at 95. I'm just going to check if I have proper profile on my wheel, S3. Um, and uh, the strength of the, on the stiffness of the load cell, that's all, seems to be good. I don't think I'll need that amount of fuel, just eight laps. It's a road car, it's not going to take four liters per lap, so. Just to be safe, I'll put 12 liters and we'll see what it, where will it take me. And that should be enough uh, to start with safe to and use. I always save it to new one so I can name it. Uh, it's no killer, right? And that is... Uh, that is M1. And I'll just do it. Uh, yeah, I'll do it soft because you know I don't know what tires it's going to choose. Uh, <clears throat> okay, there's not much more to do here, so let's just start it. No, oh, I was late. I could have much better start than I had. Unlucky mate, you were taken off the line, but stay focused and let's get that place back.
really assholes. <laughs> That Mercer is a nice exit out of corners. It's still there on the left hand side. And I managed to mess it up twice in a row. I was really lucky with the launch. They almost stopped there. What the hell is going on? Is it racing or what? The weather is getting worse. <laughs> Quite a big feedback from the tires on the wheel. You're in a good spot for taking him. Don't take too much risk. Try and squeeze past when you can. Fastest first section you've done so far. Great stuff. Interesting that two AMGs are in front. Not sure where was the last BMW I saw. That's a new fastest lap of the race. Brilliant. So slippery, the car is all over the place. There's a lot of puddles on the right hand side, better to avoid them.
that the, uh, that the left turn he much not visible at all. I think there's puddle here on the left, better to avoid it as well. Safer to go a bit wider there. An early third gear. Cut a bit too much. I slowed down earlier to get rid of the penalty. Didn't want it really. Visibility sucks. I have very, very little control over that car. The worst part is that AI is not affected by uh, by the puddles, by player is, and it can get really, really hard. This is the hardest part. Uh, there are a lot of puddles here on the inside, so you have to stay on the outside. And then you have to start braking here. And then this uh, kind of downhill chicane, that's also quite a dangerous spot here. Because there is puddle here, to the inside of it. The conditions are horrible. Driving is really hard. This is lap seven out of eight. At this stage it's all about controlling the advantage of around one second. Last lap, this is your last lap. Hold it together and bring her home for the win. Staying on the outside far away from the puddles, breaking to this one, second gear, miss the apex a little bit, third gear, again breaking to this chicane, there is a puddle on the inside trying to avoid it, going a bit slower but it's less risk than going for the puddle, second gear corner, not bad, Early third gear before the two corners. Right, left, and the final straight. Checkered flag. Fourth gear and a win. Uh, 
the car was uh, consuming around one liter per lap. I still have four liters left. Here we go. That's what the puddles can do. Doesn't matter at this stage, this is just a cooldown lap. But it just shows how dangerous they are. Driving on the road tires. That's a very short pit stop. How do they want to fit all the cars here? Great job. You were the best out there today. First class. Ah, oh, some, uh, some of them drove through. So, um, it was the fastest lap uh, by a small margin. And it was a two second gap win, which was just enough. It was a fun race. Uh, it took me a few tries to get used to the car and everything. Uh, yeah, it definitely looks like the Mercedes was a better choice. Uh, the first AI BMW is at the P9, uh, which assuming all BMWs will be, yeah, at the end. Uh, I think that's my Mercedes as well, right? Oh yeah, because it's 8. So there were more Mercedes than BMW, and the Mercedes was a better choice for the truck, but I wanted something with H pattern, so that's why I went with uh, BMW M1. Cool, that one is done. Let's move to the next one. I'm not really sure why they give me this point. This is just one single uh, single race event. So those were the whole championship, I would understand. Uh, I'm going to reduce the difficulty further uh, 10 points down. But Load up of a uh, semi slick setup of a tire for that car. Good start, really good start. Let's find some gaps to move forward. But let's not take unnecessary risk. What is this guy on the left is doing? I'm glad he's out. It was very dangerous, the way he was driving. He was waving left right like crazy. I was talking about semi slicks, the best tires for this car. Unfortunately, it's super cold on the truck. At the moment, it's 10 degrees. I'm being 14 truck. Really cold, and because of that, those tires have no chance to warm up. Sorry, mate. And uh, and slicks or semi slicks when they're cold. It's like driving on ice. So that cars, that car slides like hell. The only problem is, I wouldn't mind if AI was affected as well. Trust me, AI is not affected by things like that. So if you are not some kind of alien, you can drive anywhere with anything in any conditions and always fast. Your only option is lowering the difficulty level. Some manageable. Yeah, level, where you can actually race with AI while fighting with the car and taking very little pleasure out of it. That's what it is. 
Driving that BMW on Nock Hill in a previous race in super wet conditions with puddles everywhere was more enjoyable, was actually very enjoyable. This is not. No, stay on the right, what an asshole. The rule is never change your line in the braking zone. He was not in the position to attack the guy in front. And I didn't even attack, I was just there to brake, but... Oh, that was so stupid. Nine and eleven. Seems like a winter tires would be a better option. You just posted the fastest first sector time. I was nice racing there in those corners. that section. This is the section where I should be. Gaining more. I'm working on a position to attack. But unfortunately they are much faster there than me. I'm actually quicker in that uh, slow corner section. No, stay on the track. That's pretty much my section. Let's try and take him on this lap. See no, if Seven degrees Celsius. Why is it getting so dark as well? I lost so much time there for him. Without chance uh, for an arc, unfortunately, on this lap, and to try to catch up to him. Oh, 
Oh no, stay on the track, what am I doing? Lost the position and a lot of time again. Four That's seconds. The, best final you've done today. the first one. That's gone. The tires are so cold now. It's the car is undrivable. It's eight and seven degrees. The truck is now colder than the ambient around it. It's a miracle I'm still driving this car after the heat. But there is no damage, I don't know why. That car is sliding all over the place. Even on braking, I barely touched that brake pedal. Two laps to go, I'm not sure how could I overtake both of them. And I lost it again. I was quite lucky. That's going to be a final lap. Can I overtake him on the final lap? I don't know. Great sir. Fastest lap of the race. Final lap! Final lap! Push for the win! Do whatever it takes! That was my only chance. If I can stay in front now, the rest of the lap, 
This would be a win. That would be the luckiest win ever, I think. If I can deliver it, of course. Yes, it is a win. What a lucky race. But I can still say I did not enjoy it. I think it was probably somewhere close to my worst races in Formula C, which had a lot of races in very cold condition as well, and it was pretty much the same problem as I experienced here, which is impossibility to warm up the slick, semi-slick tires and driving in those conditions, 7 degrees truck temperature, can you imagine that? Uh, those tires were at like low 50s, mid 40s. A semi-slick tires in, in those temperature range, or ranges, have zero grip. It's like driving on ice almost. The car is sliding... Oh, whoa. <laughs> okay. The car is sliding like crazy. Uh, I made plenty of mistakes in that race. I went off track on few occasions. I'm not only lucky that I won, that's super lucky. I'm lucky that I even finished the race. Even driving so slow on the cooldown lap. It's really hard in the car in these conditions. Never again, never again. I was so much faster on the best lap, but it was still so hard to get from P6 to P1 and win this race in 8 laps. R super hard. I'm glad it's done. As I said, never again.